Hello again my friends, now way back in October 2014, this grainy image leaked on the internet. It shows what appears to be Destiny's content release schedule. Now thanks to my pal Oki, here's a cleaned up high res version of the image. So then let's compare this leaked content schedule to Bungie's actual content releases so far, as it may give us a clue as to what Destiny's full expansion has in store for us. First up, the leaked image shows the original launch of Destiny as September 9th, 2014, and of course, that's exactly when the game was released. Next up, we have Expansion 1, The Dark Below, which according to the leaked image was to release December 7th, 2014. We now know, of course, that it released December 9th. This was the update that introduced the enigmatic and rather creepy Eris Morn. Next up, we have Expansion 2, House of Wolves, which according to the leaked image was to release March 10th, 2015. The actual Date it released was May 19th 2015 and this was the update that introduced Prison of Elders and Trials of Osiris. Now here's where things start to get interesting. The next expansion shown on the leaked image was to be called Comet Plague of Darkness and was scheduled for a September 2015 release. The actual name of this expansion of course is The Taken King and it launched September 15th. So then so far the leaked image has been fairly reliable as a rough guideline for Bungie's content release schedule which makes what comes next potentially very exciting indeed. Next up, the leaked content schedule shows a Vex image for Expansion 3, and although the writing is too grainy to be 100% certain, it looks as though this expansion has the name Vex Void. Next up, we have Expansion 4, which shows a Cabal image and the name Forge of Gods. Both these expansions have to be announced as the release date. Now, it's worth noting that Bungie has never confirmed or denied that the grainy image you saw at the start of the video is from a legit source. If you want my opinion, I think think it's the real deal, a leaked image from an official source, possibly a classified presentation. Now having said that, this should still absolutely be treated as speculation. Remember that leaked image first hit the internet way back in October 2014, and while it appears to be fairly reliable as a rough guideline for Destiny's release schedule, plans change with time. Yes, it seems entirely plausible that the full expansion could be Cabal or Vex themed, but until Bungie drops an official truth bomb on us, which I'm guessing they'll do at E3, all we can do is speculate. Now personally, I would love to see a Vex or Cabal raid, something that delves deeper into these races lore. I'm kind of sick of the Hive and the Taken. I mean, can you imagine what a Cabal or Vex raid boss would look like? Fucking terrifying, no doubt. Now, according to an article in Kotaku, the Taken King was supposed to introduce a new area on Mars called Pyramidian, an area that contained a new strike and raid. Could this be what we'll see in the full update? Again, we'll just have to wait and see. Now, E3 isn't too far away now, and like I said before, this is where Bungie is most likely to reveal details about their full expansion, so not long to wait now. So then, what do you guys hope Bungie has in store for us? Vex DLC? Cabal DLC? or something completely different. Leave a comment below and let me know. And that, my friends, brings us to the end of the video. Now, if you enjoyed this video and you'd like to hear me talk more about the full expansion, click this image or follow the link that you'll find in the description box below. Thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe for daily, yes, daily Destiny content. And thanks for watching, you beautiful bastards. And as always, her T to the E to the E. Until next time, Guardians.